Hi there, Aries. Welcome back. We're going to do an energy read. We're going to see what is going on around your energy. Who's around your energy and what do they want? What are their intentions? We have the King of Wands. Okay. So maybe it could be a fire sign specifically. Probably a Leo. Could also be a Sagittarius. Could be also another Aries. Let's get some more information. Spare what is going on around Aries' energy. Who's around Aries' energy and what do they want with Aries? All right. Hmm. Aries, this is somebody who feels like they're your equal. Yeah. This person's hurt. This person has been hurt. person's going through financial problems. This person has been... Yeah, this person has been hurt. Something that you said, something that you did hurt this person. This person sees y'all, the two of you, as some kind of equals. There has been some kind of hesitancy or delays in this connection. Okay? It seems like this person is... um. That there's been some kind of delays, okay? Possibly um, has to do with how you feel or how they feel. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Could very well be something about how y'all feel, how you feel. Um, It's like this person can't make a plan or something like that. Like, there's a plan that this person would like to make, but they can't make it. Hmm. This person... Or maybe it's you. I feel like you're. Is I, I think it's you. You're you're afraid to hurt this person, but you've already hurt this person. That's what I'm getting. Like you're afraid to say something to this person, but it's already been done. Like it's already been done. They've already been hurt. Um, you know, you might not feel content in this connection with this person. Things are not the way that you see. You know, the way that you want them to be with this person. Like you're not happy with this person. Um. Also, I see here that this person very well could be in the middle of, or this could be your energy actually, but like you have the choice of two, you know, you might be in the middle of where you're having to contemplate between two people, okay? Or it's this person that's contemplating between two people and they don't want to make a move because they're afraid of hurting somebody. They don't want to make a decision because they don't want to hurt somebody, okay? And that could very well be your energy as well. Like, you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Hmm. I do see here that somebody is feeling very uh, relentless. They f they fear the unknown. Um, they don't want to have any sudden changes. Something about uh, having sudden changes is bothering this person. I do feel like uh, somebody here might be confining another person as well. Preventing them from having a, um, you know, a, a new start or preventing them from ha uh, having a new beginning with somebody else. Okay. It just seems like, uh, oh, that's what it is, Aries. The thought of you with being with somebody else, it just causes this person to get really upset. This person is crying. Okay. So this person is crying. So it, it very well could be you. This person, either you have somebody else that you can choose from or this person feels that you have somebody else that you can choose from. And now this person's like, they're crying. Okay, this person's crying about this. They're very upset about this. Okay, so now I see it. <clears throat> they want to, they want to, they want to manifest you back into their life. So this might be somebody that you're no longer talking to. This might be somebody that you've walked away from already. And this person is crying about it. This person is upset about it. Yeah. This person is upset. That's why they're, they, they're in that Three of Swords energy. They're upset about the whole situation. 
Okay, so this is somebody that you have separated from, Aries. You're not you're no longer around this person anymore. Okay, now I see it. Uh there has something to do with there being a choice between two people, okay? Maybe this person feels like you have a choice with two people or this person has a choice with two people. But this person is crying. I'm going to put these to the side so I can see the cards. Um, this person is crying. They want to manifest you back into, into this connection with them. But the thing is, is that they're coming in with this devil energy, which tells me it's like, you know, they, they want to, they want to manipulate you. Okay, they definitely want to manipulate you here by creating this illusion to get you to come back around. Yeah, that's what it is. This person wants to. You might have had arguments with this person or this person's having arguments with somebody. Mm -hmm. This person very well could be having arguments with a, or actually an earth sign, uh, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. And it's about money. Okay, the two of them are fighting about money. That's what I'm getting. They're they're arguing that 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 person wants too much from them. Okay, they're they're this person is claiming that that earth sign is a gold digger. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. There, it does look like that person's about to break up. Okay, so this Libra, this person's either a Libra. Could be a Libra, could be a Gemini, could be an Aquarius, could also be a uh, another fire sign. But I feel like it's more of the Libra. So Aries, you're coming in as a King of Wands, and this person is coming in as a King of Swords. And this King of Swords, okay, now I see it. This King of Swords is in a relationship with the Queen of Pentacles, this karmic. This karmic has portrayed themselves to be a very well-to-do person, somebody who's very grounded. They, they created this illusion, okay? That's why the magician with the devil came out, okay? Because that person created this illusion that they had everything to you know, well put together. They were, they created this illusion that they were, um, a nourishing, caring, loving type of person. But in reality, that third party was actually a very manipulative, and I want to say possibly even narcissistic, I would even say, personality type, okay? Where everything's about money. Now this, this air sign that's around your energy, this Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius is upset. The two of them are arguing because things are not working out the way that this air sign thought that it would. This person's crying. This person's crying in, in the inside. I feel like this person is holding it in. They're crying on the inside. There's a, definitely a breakup coming in. Okay, there's definitely a breakup. And they know it. They know that that breakup has to happen. Okay, uh, this this breakup is about the money. It's about the finances. It's about the connection. Uh, it does look like this person is feeling very overwhelmed. They're they're feeling very overwhelmed. They 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 feel like they're being neglected by that third party. Mm hmm. They feel like they're being over overworked. They feel like that person is putting them in debt. You know, they feel like they're having to start over again. They they feel like, you know, they're having to rebuild their life financially all over again because of that person. So this is somebody who's around you, very high on the Libra side, I'll tell you. Actually, I see this as being higher on the Libra side. So this Libra, or it could be a Gemini or Aquarius, but it's higher on the Libra. Uh, This Libra is... Yeah, they're they're tormented. They're be they're they're receiving karma. And they're having a hard time keeping up with the payments of things. They're 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 going through a lot of chaos chaos right now. And that this gold digger in their life seems to be very unorganized and causing a lot of chaos inside their home. That's what I'm seeing here, causing them to struggle unnecessarily. And they know it, and that's why they're upset. Now, 
there, there's a good chance that these two are going to be getting a divorce. These two might actually be married to each other and about to be receiving some kind of, of uh, divorce. Okay, with the Justice card coming out. Now, we do have the Sun card coming out in reverse. There is something here that this person hasn't really looked into or they haven't really realized. Okay, there's something that's going on here behind the scenes that this person... You know, they, they're just not seeing the full picture of, okay? They're, they're, they're possibly even having a very hard time, you know, seeing the positive about everything that's going on here. Spirit, can we get some more information about the sun in reverse, please? And thank you. They can't see things clearly right now. Whoa, this is what came out for that. Okay. So with the five of can the canes right there, it, that five of canes is is coming out in reverse. So it's like it's like that person they they want to have a solid connection, and they're not getting what they have anticipated. Okay, they're not getting what they wanted. Now that now they have their eye on somebody else, and I feel like it's you, Aries. This is why this person's coming into your energy, because it's like. They are taking their eye off of this person now that they've realized where they are and who they connected with. You know, that person's not who they, they felt that they were. They they realize that they've been tricked. Okay? And it seems like now this person has their eye back on you again. This person is showing that their interest and attention is going off of that person and going back to you. Yeah. Hmm. They want a new beginning here with the world card. They want a new beginning. They wish it's, it's like this person wishes that the two of you could start over and get back together. Um, You're not communicating at all with this person. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. There's no communication here. I see here that you possibly have cut this person out of your life. And this person's aware of it. So this person is suffering in silence. That's what I'm getting. What I'm hearing is this person is suffering in silence now. They're receiving their karma because this karmic is teaching them a lesson here. You see? This person would love to come in and try to take control over this situation. But they can't. Because they're still dealing with a very manipulative person over here. You see? There's everything's everything's very one sided. Uh, your person is receiving karma for what they've done. Okay? That's what I'm getting. They're they're receiving that karma. Uh they might even be getting a protection order against this uh karmic over here. Okay? And I can tell you right now this karmic over here. They're jealous of your person. They're jealous of anybody that comes around your person. They're jealous of anything. Because they don't have it themselves. They, they're they just they're just jealous and greedy and selfish. And so when they see somebody else who has the ability to stand up for themselves, they don't like it. Mm-hmm. So this person over here, this karmic, is bullying your person. As we speak, like right now, as I'm saying this, this karmic is actually bullying your person. And your person is trying to get away from them. And they can't. Okay? With the aid of, of uh, hearts in reverse. It's like that person is going through this very difficult period of, of having to make some some hard decisions right now. This person possibly doesn't want to talk with anybody right now because they're they're like going through a um you know a nervous breakdown you know they're having they're about to have a nervous breakdown or they're going through a very anxious period in their life where they're having a lot of anxiety and things like that you see they they do and they wish that things could be different they wish that they can go on a new journey here and have something new 
Okay. But you know what? As I'm saying this, I feel like you already know. Like you already know what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, at least that's what's coming out in the cards. Like you possibly have um, some kind of intuition or you feel this or you've seen something that's made you feel this way. Hmm. Your person is learning that they should be careful how they treat people. Because karma, karma comes back and bites you. That's it. It's done. I mean, you're going to receive what you get, you know, what you put out there. Hmm. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to let this be short and quick. It looks like your person's receiving karma for what they've done. I think this person has done some things that they shouldn't have done. Okay. I feel like this air sign has done some things that they shouldn't have done. Gemini is also very high in this reading as well, guys, with some Capricorn. Um, it seems like this air sign is receiving what they deserve here. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. So they had a choice between two people and they chose wrong and now they, they're facing the consequences of it. That's what it is. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me here today. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me into the next reading. All right. And don't forget to click on that notifications bell. To everybody that has donated this past couple of weeks, I, I would like to give you all a big thank you. I really appreciate it, guys. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.